Welcome back to, to the jam with Brock and Dan. I'm Brock. I'm Dan. And <laughs> welcome to our show. Um Let's first just and dive. foremost. First and foremost. I like saying that. Those are good words to say together. It makes me sound like I'm smart. Um first and foremost, let's shout out our uh socials. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Yep, YouTube, TikTok. And- our Instagram handle is the jam underscore with Brock and Dan. It's down there. Yeah, it's down in the description <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube. Um, you can follow me personally at uh, L underscore Brockos, E L underscore B R O C K O S. That's on Instagram. You can follow me there. There ain't nothing on there, but if you'd like to like do that, you can. <laughs> Dan, what's yours? Dan Gardner Music. Yeah, that means he's got music. Not anymore. Ah, there might be some on there. You just got to dig deep. But anyway. Um, they yeah. are also, our Instagram handles are in the description below as well. Along yes. Along with the Jam social. So if you want to follow the Jam stuff, hit that follow, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you just want to follow us individually, see what we got going on in our personal lives, they're down there as well. Thank you, Dalton. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, today... uh. It's going to get a little spicy. It's going to get a little weird. We might disappear after this one. Who knows? Who knows because what they can do? <laughs> they. Who is they? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know who they is. But we're going to talk about conspiracies because they've been weighing heavy on our minds. Yes, they have. I mean, they weigh heavy all the time on yeah. my mind. But there's a few that I'm, I'm sure... there. See, they use conspiracy theory. It's like almost derogatory. You know what I mean? Like, oh, right. You, fucking kook you know Mm -hmm. pardon my french but but dude conspiracy that just means like people conspiring to do something bad right could be bad it could be even good too i don't know the exact definition but dude there's lots of conspiracies out there and uh i got a couple good ones that are like really fucking like mind-blowing to me and like at least when i heard them i was like what the fuck Right. So, I don't know what you got for me, but I got some got some stuff. I mean, it's just for me, I'll just dive right into it. Yeah, let's hear it. Are we just I'm talking to you viewers and are we just like all done talking about what happened at the Miami Mall? Dude, I think so. I think so. I think it's just like erased. It's like was there any updates after what happened? Like no. everybody's like, "Oh, aliens." And they're like, "No, there's not." And then everybody just forgets. Yeah, dude. It's it's fucking wild. I remember seeing the video of all the the police cars and shit. But like, yeah, what did they say it was for? Like teenagers fighting or something? Yeah, teenagers fighting. But there was like hundreds of fucking cop cars. And yeah, how many they, fucking teenagers were there? <laughs> I don't know, but you know damn well if there was a fight, somebody would have had that yeah. video of yes. those kids fighting. They'd be saying World Star, and, right? Yeah. Apparently, yeah. there were fifty teenagers that caused a riot outside really? the mall. Yeah. Apparently, it was fifty teenagers is what they're saying but does that require a hundred million cops because that's how many they have literally the whole the whole like fucking like damn near the state of florida look like yeah dude Dude. it was insane i I I hear something else going on i heard they shut down the airport like they they grounded all flights yeah there was a fucking black chopper flying over like a a stealth black chopper just fucking black hawks yeah dude but didn't go down it's fucking wild because why? Yeah. Why do that over teenagers fighting? Yeah, it's right. It's like that My Chem song, dude. Teenagers scare the living shit out of them. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Am I more than you bargained for yet? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is that's not my chemical romance? No, that's not. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's that's Fallout Boy, I think. It's Fallout Boy. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you messing with us, Brock? Because we can't tell. I, th- I think you guys are messing with me. <laughs> He's fucking with us. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Oh my anyway, god! <laughs> you know the biggest conspiracy is like, dude. I heard if you lay in the grass next to the mausoleum, <laughs> oh my, you'll grow god. antlers on your head, dude. What? What's the mausoleum? You don't know what a fucking mausoleum is? No. All right, you know, uh, you worried. go to the graveyard, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, some people don't want to be buried. They just want to go in this fucking concrete <gasps> oh, building. That's building. a mausoleum. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know what that was called. I just thought it was yeah. like a cool little monument. Yeah. 
So I like laying in the grass next to the mausoleum sometimes. And you can grow, they say that you can grow antlers? Yeah, dude. Well, I don't. Is that one of the conspiracies? Dude, dude. I, I don't think it's conspiracy. I think it's a fact. <laughs> I think he <laughs> is awesome. quoting Fallout Boy lyrics. I feel like this is. I Wait, are you fucking? Are you fucking with me? No, I think you guys are fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I swear, Brock, you're over here quoting Paul Dude, lyrics. That, and you don't realize it. This is mind blowing. No, I'm not quoting nothing. Dude, I got I fucking am... tight pants on today. I feel a friction in my jeans. <laughs> Dude, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Fucking. Anyway, conspiracies. <laughs> you guys are worried about me. I don't even know what a uh, full of boy. What does that even mean? I am done. I am done with you. I, Anyways, I guess I'm more than you bargained for. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the Miami Mall. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit was wild. And apparently, we're just all done talking about it. Like, it never happened. But So, all right. So, was there eyewitness accounts of aliens? Yeah, there was videos of like, people. Like, said people, aliens. They didn't say aliens. They said 10 to 12 feet tall or like... Yeah, what it was, was it? Eight to ten foot tall yeah, creatures. Yeah, yeah, it was like a ten foot tall creature. In in all reality, my biggest thing is like it's twenty twenty four, and our cell phones make like we can record phenomenal video, but every yeah. video of any conspiracy looks like it was recorded on a flip phone. Yeah. What? Why? Yeah. Exactly. Like, come well, on. Um, later on, I'm gonna show you something that's uh definitely higher quality than a flip phone, and you're gonna be like, okay. Yeah. That's okay. weird. That's weird. And you probably hadn't. Dude, was, I'm down. I'm. I'll I'm, get to it. I'll get to it later. But yeah, like nobody talks about the fucking aliens anymore. Um, yeah. What was the other like? Now, uh, I, I don't think it was a conspiracy. Well, the, people kind of said like, "Oh, it didn't really happen." That fucking Ocean Gate thing that went down to the Titanic. Bro, that's back you, in the news. Did you see? Yeah. Did you see the uh, the Ohio billionaire? Yeah. Trying to do that and say just to prove a point. Yeah, I think they can what do fucking, it. I don't. What point are you proving? Dude, the problem they had going down there is they built the fucking thing out of like carbon fiber. It's like, dude, come on, you're going down fucking twenty five thousand feet. You're gonna need some fucking. I think they were trying to be steel. innovative. I think they were being like, hey, we're gonna innovate a new way to build a yeah, sub. They're fucking and it stupid. Did not go yeah. well, dude. If they, they told me, hey, this is carbon fiber, I'd be like, that's nice. If you know you want a lightweight hood on your fucking car, but uh. A capsule that goes down to the fucking ocean yeah. where thousands and thousands of pounds of pressure. I don't think so. No. So I bet you this guy, I haven't, I, like, I just read the headline like most people. I just read the headline. And if I had to guess, I bet you this guy is like, all right, we're going to go down there, but we're going to use a fucking solid six inch steel fucking tube to go down. Yeah. It wasn't it like, <laughs> um, what was the, the, the price of that? Like being built? It was like, like twenty five million dollar thing. Yeah, because they got the research and development the, and all that. The you know? first one or the one that this guy's trying to build. This guy. Yeah, the post lay designed a twenty million dollar. Twenty million. Yeah, it's fucking wild. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking money. That is. Well, I don't know. Not in today's money, because you know, dude, twenty million. You could like, you could give like, I feel like every eighteen year old person in America a piece of that, and I think it would change everyone's life. Oh yeah, it would. But uh, it's not worth as much as you think it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for real. Because uh, I only bought like six items from Kroger and it was 50 bucks. Speaking of which, I just thought of something else. But yeah, keep talking about Fucking aliens for a second. Yeah, man, that there's videos of like of, of something walking and all the cops were like literally pointing their flashlights and shit at the stairs and shit like that. But everyone was like, oh, that was just three cops walking together. Like, oh, oh, so they're just going to shine a spotlight on three cops walking together? Yeah. That don't look like, I don't even know what it looks like. It it just looks so strange. So they're 12 feet tall. Yeah. So I wonder if the cops were just like sitting on each other's shoulders like the fucking little rascals. <laughs> right. And like, that's Ooh. probably what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny when they went in the bank. Yeah. Didn't they go in the bank or something? They had the trench coat on, uh, the little rascals. Was it a bank? I don't know. I thought they were trying to like register a race or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was something. Yeah, dude, it's been wow. alpha alpha. I always thought that'd be so cool to do as a kid. Yeah, stand on each other's shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I was always a short friend, so it's like, dude, make me be the head. Like I'm so <laughs> light. I was so light as a kid. That'd be fun, dude. Yeah, Dalton would be the head. <laughs> <laughs> Headmaster, master baiter, <laughs> masturbate. 
Oh There's, my god, I can't. I can't do it. I always thought it'd be a funny name, like if you're a master or something like that, and your last name is Bates. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. I played this video game with one of my friends, <laughs> and he changed his name to Meter Beater, and I thought that was the like the most clever thing. I mine, was like, oh my god, that's great. Mine is a shid pant. Shid pant. Then, uh, shid pant. Mine's Cobras and God sixty nine. Mine is Mick Glizzy. Mine used to be T four R D. For real. T four R D. Yeah. T four R D. What does that stand for? Say it fast. T four R D. No, no, it's oh. not. A, it's not a play on words. Just like if you look at it spelled out, you'd be like, "Oh, I see." I'm gonna two forty. Looks like the four looks like an A. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh. Uh, I'm oh. not saying it. I'm yeah. not saying it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, we don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one, though. But we'll talk about these conspiracies, and it'd be totally fine. Anyway. Yeah. Wow. We just got way off topic. But yeah, dude, that usually happens, though. Did you guys see? I was mind blown by this one a couple months ago. Um, that aliens, obviously they've come out and said the aliens are real, blah, 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 whatever. But that I'm seeing shit that they don't go to like space and come from space. Like we think they go into the ocean. Oh, yeah. I like seen that. Go, like, I was like, why wouldn't oh they? Gosh, There's so much room in there. They say we know our galaxy better than we know our ocean. And I'm like, what? Yeah, That's dude. terrifying. Well, and I, and I, uh, I watched this video of some dude explaining like, they travel interdimensionally, like from other dimensions. Did you guys ever see that? Yeah, I like mean, that's interdimensional how child molesters. What? <laughs> uh, Alex it, Jones was on was Joe say, Rogan yeah, once. Say, yeah. Oh man! Oh, that's a Joe Rogan clip. I've yeah. seen that, dude. They're real interdimensional child molesters. Well, dude, Inter- I read. <laughs> I read this. I'm dude, do you think I'm lying? Dude. I don't think you're lying. It's Alex Jones oh, yeah. we're talking about. Dude. That guy is off his rocker. Speaking of that. But he's yeah. actually really fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He gets real passionate about shit. Yeah, dude. And it makes me passionate. But uh, I, I used to watch him a lot back in the day. But uh, one thing uh, he brought to my attention, I'm actually going to share with you right now, if you're if you're done about the Miami Yeah, I'm Mall. done. Yeah, I mean, it, um, it was aliens. It was, some, yeah. it was something not of this world. So at Miami Mall. Have you ever heard of Operation Northwoods? Operation Northwoods? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. Never? I, maybe. Well, it kind of sounds familiar, but you I don't know. You know, like back in the early 60s, like the Cuban Missile Crisis and all that, right? Uh, yes. You know, John F. Kennedy was yeah. president. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, they were looking for a reason to go to war with Cuba. Okay. Like, so the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the Kennedy administration like met behind closed doors and shit. And they're like, Hey, we got to come up with a plan to like, you know, give an excuse, uh, an excuse to go to war with Cuba, you know? Yeah. So these motherfuckers came up with ideas, dude. Like one of them was like, how about we blow up a fucking airline and blame it on Cuba, kill a bunch of people. And another one is like, how about we just kill a bunch of people in Washington DC and we'll say Cuba did it. And, like, they were going to, like, have a bunch of terrorism in Miami and, like, South Florida, shit like that. Um, I mean. And blame it on Cuba. Right. And uh, another one was, like, they're going to, like, have a remote control plane, like an art, you know, a drone or something like that. Right, right. Blow it up and blame it on Cuba. Wow. And all for an excuse to go to war with Cuba. Because they're you know allied with the now, Soviets or whatever. So speak, dude, think about that for no, a second. No, no, I no, I, I, I have. They're um, willing to kill people because that that's the kind of <laughs> shit that happens. Yeah, well, it makes you think about other things. Too. Exactly. It's like oh, they were willing to do that. Like that one. Well, fortunately, uh, JFK and like I think I don't know another guy didn't sign off on it. Thankfully, but like just thinking about that was what they were willing to try to do that. They're like, hey, this is a great idea. How about we kill a bunch of Americans and then blame it on our one of our adversaries? That way we can go to war with them. Does that sound familiar to you? Uh, yeah. Sound oh, like yeah. something? Oh, yeah. yeah like, how about we Absolutely. kill a bunch hey, of people and then blame it on someone who had nothing to do with it? <laughs> yep. Yeah, what's the best way to make someone think you're protecting them? Put them in danger first uh-huh. and then you protect them yeah. and save them and you're the hero. Can you imagine... Hmm. Um, was it uh, the only time skyscrapers <laughs> have ever collapsed from like fire, dude? It only happened dude. three times in history. Yeah. 
Oh, and it was all they, on one oh, day. <laughs> I mean, it's such a if, weird coincidence if, that all this money, yeah. they just the, discovered that all this money was missing. Yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. Yep, Larry Silverstein took out a big insurance policy on the World Trade Center like a couple months before it happened. Um, ended, up, ended up getting paid $4 billion. And wasn't there like no no signs of like plane at the Pentagon? No, dude, see, all right, you want to you know something funny back when I was in middle school, I was in the the bad kids class where they make you do computer shit. Yeah. And uh, we had, our teacher was the football coach. His name was Mr. Harp. And <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No Shout relation. out Dalton. Yeah, no no relation. Yeah, I don't, I don't know a teacher fam. But he was this big, you know, football guy, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I don't know what, forever, for whatever reason, he just like put on loose change that documentary. He put oh, it on. yeah put it on on the the tv in the classroom for us to watch while we're doing our work dude i have spent hours but, watching stuff like that on, yeah on that specific event dude and yeah like if you well first of all like the security camera footage there's no plane and like a plane's pretty fucking big i don't care how fast it's going you're gonna see it right i mean you saw it fly into the building yeah but you know flying into the fucking pentagon it's it's going too fast for that it's like, but that in the debris field just didn't add up. Same it with didn't. same with like Flight ninety three in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. It's just a hole in the ground. Where the fuck is the plane? Yeah, there's just a, a shards of metal. It's like, no, there'd be a lot more, dude. Of course there would be. And what's wild is if you if you watch like the slow motion videos of the towers, you can see. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, it looks like little fucking bombs yeah. going off. And some people say that uh. You know, oh, that's, that's just sad, that's air dude. pressure popping out or whatever. But you know, it's fucking weird. And like, I just remembered this is like there's some fucking some group. I forget what group or whatever, but uh, they had access to like these floors that weren't being used in the World Trade Center for like months. Hmm. And it happened to be like uh, certain floors where you know those explosions happened or whatever. Yeah, there's some art project or something like that. But they're linked link to some uh, intelligence agency. Hmm. I can't say it because, like, <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, let's try to keep it <laughs> but, but dude, discreet. <laughs> yeah, but uh, dude, um, that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It's like, hey, uh, there's the people that had the access to do it to plant, you know, fucking C four or thermite or whatever, right? And uh, now that we're on that, I might as well just show you now. But uh, I'm going to show you. A video of a building, all right? Okay. So. But I agree with you, bro. There's there nothing really adds up. Yeah, it doesn't. So, all right, if you want to go ahead and watch this. Okay. And tell me what this looks like to you. That's pretty fast, isn't it? There's like zero resistance. Literally. Yeah, like no and, resistance. And where was the sound? Exactly. But like where was the sound if there was an explosion or something? But, like there's nothing. It yeah. just falls. Do you know what that was? It wasn't that the the building next to it? It was World Trade Center seven. It collapsed due to office fires. It collapsed like that due to office fires. Are you are you fucking with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the official explanation. And like fucking CNN or some other news uh, agency or whatever was making a report. You can see World Trade Center 7 in the background. And they're saying, yeah, World Trade Center 7 collapsed. And it was like an hour before it actually <gasps> collapsed. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. It's like, there's like, oh, here, report this. And they thought it would be happening already. And they, dude, that's fucking, dude, if this was, dude, listen. But anyway, that leads me back to Operation Northwoods. Like, all right, so the government was, they, I mean, that was, to go to war with Cuba, it's like yeah. who gives a fuck about Cuba, and they're willing to do that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, the Soviets were allied with them or whatever, and oh, there might be missiles there, but you know there might be weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, and there wasn't. Yeah, I know. But it was all used <coughs> as an excuse Excuse to fucking me. go to war mm-hmm. for whoever's interests. I don't know whose, <coughs> whether it be for money, whatever. Right. But regardless, I don't feel like we've been told the truth about. 
I don't think I don't. Oh, dude, I don't I, think we ever will. We'll never, I mean, they're yeah, never gonna no, let us fucking we won't, know. Because no. <clears throat> anytime that the actual truth starts to come out, it gets shut down really quick. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. really really quick. So you know you're over the target when you catch the most flack. So notice when you uh, you talk about certain things. However, if you get pushback, that means you're you're getting too close to the fire there. Yeah. Yep. Dude, that's insane to think about. That our like you know, <sighs> let me just be careful. If that is true. Yeah, like if that is true, that our government would do something like that. To oh, us. dude! I mean, it it goes right back to, um, you like, know, COVID. Yeah, like I think that shit was planned. It's okay to talk about now, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, for the people who lost their lives to that shit and to nine yeah. eleven and stuff, that's sad. And oh. uh, condolences, but it's just fucking wild to think about. Like, how how the fuck is a virus gonna just be unleashed? Yeah. Like, that shit's, like, kept <laughs> safe. What's how, funny. How, what happened in that lab? How did it... No, it happened at the wet market right down the street, not the lab where they make the fucking virus. <laughs> it, exactly. On, how did the virus? On. How did the virus get from there to there? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think it even went to the wet market, dude. I think, no. I think... No, it, was it either, didn't. It was either planned or it was complete negligence. Mm-hmm. And if it was planned, I bet you it was to try to destabilize the world economy. China comes out on top, mm-hmm. you know. But I heard they're kind of struggling right now, though. But but That's anyway, so f- like, dude, it's so. There's fucked. so many reasons why you know, it's endless possibilities why they would do something like that. Right. But dude, it's just crazy Control. to think about. Don't think for a second the government won't kill you to advance its goals. Like, yeah, it doesn't care 100%. where you were born, what what citizenship you are. It's like. Dude, the one that creeps me out and scares me the most <clears throat> is all these guys that have made engines that run off. Well, water. We have the hydrogen engines. Yeah, yeah, they all come up missing or the information gets missing or the person that comes up with it doesn't get killed. They just don't ever talk about it anymore. Yeah, like Tesla's inventions and yeah. shit. Bro, speaking of like <clears throat> our government doing stuff, have you ever watched Snowden? Mm-hmm. Years that, ago, yeah, I watched dude, it. That dude, pardon phenomenal. Edward Snowden. Now, yeah, that movie's phenomenal. Now, that shit, you have to believe that shit. Yeah. There's they're no they're watching us. Oh, they're dude. watching oh, us yeah. right now. They're probably oh, yeah. watching this camera right oh, here. Oh, for sure. Oh, dude. So there's this program. That's yeah. why the guy can't come back to the United yeah, States. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to name drop anything because, like, I don't want anyone getting in trouble. But I know this person that sells this program, it's all legal, to schools. And it basically reads all messaging emails every everything it skims through all that stuff to s- detect like big words as the yeah. you know, b-o-m-b and like in drugs and yeah it basically yeah. it's they'll sell it to these schools to help potentially stop stuff like that from yeah. ever happening because it scans everything everyone's computers everything like that and yeah, it's like dude. that is completely like what if you're looking something up private? Obviously, it's not private if you're on that property, but and still, that's crazy. Back back to nine eleven. Just think of the implications that fucking event had on like it. Literally, I know people say, "Oh, it changed the world," you know, like, "Oh, we're so sad," you know, it changed the world in that way because you know whatever. But dude, the Patriot Act, like, that's the whole reason why your phone's listening to you right now. And it's like, dude, literally, people are so scared of a fucking terrorist attack. They're like. Yeah, we don't care. We just want to be safe. You can fucking look at my asshole. You know? Right. TSA. <laughs> so fucked. It's like, dude, TSA wasn't a thing Yeah, it's... before that. Do you, like, you've flown on a plane. Only once. But, dude, you didn't have to do that before. You can smoke on planes, but that, I think that was like the 80s or something. Yeah. But, dude. Dude, I can't imagine somebody smoking a cigarette on a plane, man. That'd be fucking terrible. It's just like, yeah, don't ever think for a second that you're... Like, dude, all right, you want to hear something real fucked up? Well, yeah, that's why okay. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I don't know. How, do you have grandparents? Do you have yeah. Grandparents yeah, yeah, well, are uh, they? one. They, so they're like, you know, probably in their, what, teens and 20s during the 60s, right? Uh, if I had to guess, because my grandparents were, yeah. Yeah, my, I think my grandma is. Vietnam almost, era. I think she's like 80-something. Oh, yeah, so she was around back then. Yeah. Dude. So like my grandpa was, you know, he he uh didn't go to Vietnam thankfully, but uh he was uh in the army during that time and there was a thing called the Gulf of Tonkin incident. 
So, all right, the whole reason. Never heard of it. So, all right, the U.S. was, like, you know, interested in, you know, what was going on in North Vietnam because, you know, they're communists or whatever. But I think it was, like, the French or the Dutch. Like, they kicked them out, and then they're like, hey, we want a communist government now. And America's <laughs> like, no, we don't want you to be communist. You know, they want Southeast Asia to fall to communism or whatever. But anyway, so – I think it was the USS Maddox or something like that was in the Gulf of Tonkin, which is international waters, right? Yeah. And they claimed the North Vietnamese attacked it and, like, they dealt with it or something. But I guess they attacked it again, and this time, you know, they sank the ship and all that. And that, you know, everybody here is like, well, that means we got to go to war in Vietnam. Jeez. You know, we got to go. So, all right, so long story short, about – what, like 55 to 60,000 Americans died during the Vietnam War in like horrific ways. Yeah. yeah that, was, that war was. That's the, they don't talk about it yeah. often because it wasn't one we wanted. Yeah. And like even when they came back, like, you know, the whole hippie movement was going on, anti war shit. Like, yeah. they're like, oh, you're a piece of shit if you're in the military. Like, these kids got fucking drafted. No, dude. I know. Yeah. They didn't have a choice. They, they didn't yeah, have a fucking choice. It was like that or prison. Like, but I think in like 2005, some documents came out the NSA released or something like that. And, uh, turns out the Gulf of Tonkin incident never happened. It was a lie. Wait, they lied. What? Yeah. Lied to get us into Vietnam. So then, so 55,000 Americans died because they lied. Well, I mean, dude, that's, so dude, it's just, I don't know. Just think about shit like this. If they lied, then what was the point of that war? Were we trying to take something? Exactly. From I think they they they're fighting against communism was you know what they're oh, you know okay. saying, but I think there might have been other motives too. Yeah, I I do see right here that the United States government falsely claimed uh-huh. that a second incident occurred yeah. on August fourth between North Vietnamese and United States ships yeah. in the never waters. fucking happened. Wow. In a, <laughs> yeah, it's saying that blows. That. I mean, it doesn't blow my mind because that's our. Well, that's dude, just our think fucking. about it. Think it's about like it. My whole grandparents' generation, like that fucking like dude, my, that my, war my grandpa has people. friends that fucking died. No, I yeah. know, man. That's based on a fucking lie because like some warmongers wanted to go to war. Dude, and there are people that are like fucked up. Yeah. They've been fucked yeah, up the rest dude. of their lives because Shell of that shock. situation. Post- I mean, dude, just disorder. just imagine. I mean, you you hear the stories, you read the stories about what happened over there, but no one knows what really happened over there except the people that, that were, were there. there. Yeah, I was gonna say because anybody could come up with a fucking article and say this is what yep. happened. Yeah, no one fucking knows. Dude, the you truth. ever seen? I, I say this all the time. Uh, I know everybody when they talk about movies about Nam. They yeah. talk about Full Metal Jacket. Mm-hmm. But I still, to this day, I'll, I think I was in sixth grade, Great I watched a movie, movie called Platoon. Have yeah. You oh, Platoon? yeah, Charlie Sheen. Oh, my yeah. God, bro. That movie, That's I was- a good movie, like, dude. That's a cow. very good movie. Dude, it was listen, an Oliver Stone movie, I think. Yeah. I just had a theory, because you guys were talking about it, and I'm, I'm over here listening, right? Back then, they didn't have technology like we do, right? And what if it was some power-hungry piece of shit on the ship being like, no. I'm going to call it in and say they fucking attacked us because I want to take these guys down because he's a power hungry fuck. And then bam, they don't have any way to verify it. Yeah. This yeah. Radio there's it there's no boom. videos. There's no fu- yeah. See the, like, all right. So, all right. I, so we're like the internet age kids, right? Yeah. It's so, like we, we got the Slowly. internet. <laughs> so the age of information, they call it. So like, it's hard to hide shit nowadays. Right. So if you notice, like, I don't know. Back when we say, "Hey, did you know this happened, Grandpa?" They'd be like, "You can't believe everything you read on the internet." Yeah, you know, it's like they shame you for for yeah. knowing stuff. Oh yeah, it's like you don't understand. Like, we have information now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, <laughs> we know about things now. That's why they I, like, lied to you, Grandpa. That's why I told you last. Like I told everybody here and the viewers that last week's episode. Like fuck that news, man! Don't watch the news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you want to. Yeah. You want to know where to go to get the best news? Swear by it. Facebook. No. <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, dude, yeah. It's, Twitter, it's dude, happening right Twitter now. Is You're finding out so right now. so fucking quick at it. Yeah. And it's crazy. I just don't have the attention span to be on Twitter all, dude, all yeah. the time. Like, it, I, I get, it really like, notifications. A, it's such a cesspool of negativity sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah and I try be. to stay away from yeah. that. You just got to follow the right people, and yeah, then yeah. they'll start feeding you the good stuff. Right. But Get that algorithm. Yeah, like, you know, current conflicts. I ain't going to get into it because I get everybody up in arms, but there's, you know, current shit happening ge- geopolitically and you, you see some pretty horrible shit on yeah there. and 
who who's to say this wasn't you know shit we're dealing with now wasn't based on lies either let me ask you let me ask you a question do you ever think about um when um the atom bomb was dropped terrible do you ever think about like we didn't we didn't fucking like target like a military base we didn't target a fucking civilians civilians yep we targeted uh a city full of women children i don't know how many casualties there were it it was eighty thousand deaths yeah eighty fucking thousand people they had nothing to do with like they and weren't then, in the army exactly they had nothing there. to do they were just going about their fucking day to day lives yep. and then it says thousands died later from mm-hmm. radiation sickness yeah. bro and you know what's fucked up when they tested it uh their first test there was a school like 40 miles away correct me if i'm wrong i don't i think it's 40 i think it was 40 miles away that our government didn't tell them anything about what was going on they wanted to find out what would happen huh? and guess what none of those children made it to 30 years old what okay so it says there the test site was located 210 miles south of los alamos los new alamos. mexico yeah on the plains of uh oh, i fuck up some of these words alamogordo bombing range yeah oh. they they blamed it on uh they told they told that school I just watched this documentary. It's called, um, well, son of a bitch. Damn, that's good. I've one. never heard of that one. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> that's our documentary. documentary Anyways, about it's, on, it's on Netflix. It's about like the Cold War and stuff. I can't remember what, what it was called, but um, it brought up the, the atomic bomb. And that's like how I, you know, figured out this information because they were like this, this uh, historian was like, was it turning point? Turning point. That's it. Okay. Yep. Turning point. Um, this uh, historian was saying, like, this school, they were told that it was just a military, like, something accidentally like yeah. went off at the military base. You know? Yeah, whoopsie. Whoopsie. <laughs> well, how the fuck can you explain a big-ass mushroom cloud Yeah. and all of a sudden you don't even make it to 30 years old? Yeah. That's fucked. All the cattle and shit, like, just died? Yeah. Like, that's insane. That is insane to think about. They say that World War, quote unquote, three, because it technically yeah. hasn't been like labeled, it will be the end of the world if it ever yeah. happens. Dude, because I think we're in be, it right it'll now. It'll be just a nuclear war. I think it's just happening. Well, I mean, that's what this, I mean, it, dude, everyone. We're in it right now. The world's at war right now. Yeah. I just hate how, <laughs> my biggest complaint is I hate how strong the government is to have the power to turn us against each other. Well, dude, that's, that's what's insane. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, you know what that's called? social media yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> well you know all right so back in like 2012 yeah, i blame that all on social media you might be faster at looking this up Dalton, but i think it was part of the <laughs> national defense authorization act that like gave uh the government authority to use propaganda again like you know skew public opinion a certain right. way you know fake <clears throat> shit which they like did make shit up all propaganda is legal now is it really for real yep obama did that you can think obama thanks obama dude that's insane that's just but, insane to think about. Oh, like, it really so, is George Bush, but so it right started with him. It's like minor tweaks to it. It says like they're allowed to have like minor tweaks to yes. So it says Obama did not sign the law allowing propaganda in the USA. Who was it? I don't know. I think that there was. I think there was something that was trying to be pushed, and maybe the media skewed it a little bit because it says he he didn't sign it. Oh, wait. Former President Barack Obama signed a law. Oh, dude. Th- so right there. Dude, listen. That's what I said. Listen. The, 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 um, the headline yeah. says he didn't sign it. Then you click on it, and, and then it yeah. says he signed it. Exactly. That's nuts, bro. Jump. Dude, always read the fucking story. Because yeah. the, the headline is like. Yeah, headline said he did, did not Dan Gardner it. shit his pants? Yes, I on did. On Sunday? Or whatever, you know, like. That's and then you go down, one. like, since it was a question, it, like, it, you know. Dan Gardner shit his pants? Question mark. I mean, we <laughs> talked about this, but you know, you, then you read the story. It's like, well, no, he didn't shit his pants. Right. But like the headlines: Dan Gardner shits his pants? Question mark. Why in the world are we allowed to? <clears throat> like, I understand social media would be allowed to say stupid stuff and like fake crap just because it's social media. Yeah. But like, credited sources being allowed to just say bullshit. 
Dude, is mind blowing. We are the children of the information age. This guys. goes back to our last episode when we were talking about marijuana and alcohol and stuff uh-huh. like that. Educate oh, yeah. yourself. Propaganda. And at the That's, end of the day, educate dude. yourself. Educate yourself on everything. That's, That's just, <sighs> guys. I'm scared talking about this stuff. Dude, I'm not. I'm <laughs> fucking. Dude, I, like, I mean, dude, if they if they wanted us dead, they'd kill us. Yeah. And like dude, all the fucking whistleblowers out there that you don't hear from anymore, they're all gone. Yeah. Um. I think Donald Trump was speaking at the Libertarian National Convention, which is like this crazy political party. But they invited him, and he's like, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> so I was like, it was crazy. It was like booze and cheers. Yeah. But uh, he said he was going to, if he gets elected, he's going to pardon Ross Ulbrich. Which is, well, who's that? Dude, all right, you remember like on the, the dark web, there's a thing called the Silk Road where you can buy like drugs and shit online, use Bitcoin and all that. Oh, dude, this man's in prison. Yeah, dude, he said he's going to commute a sentence and set him free. Why? He's got, like, two life sentences just for, like, starting a website where people can, like, you know, buy guns and fucking drugs and shit on the internet. And and Trump said yeah, he's yeah. going to pardon him? Yeah. Why? Or to commute a sentence. Yeah, why? Was it because he was so good? I think because, like, he My, didn't personally do anything. All was, he did was just build the platform so people say, could do yeah, it. Yeah, I think what it was is oh. this man designed, like, Let's say the Underground Railroad, of yeah, the drug and exactly. illegal narcotics. Dude, I used to work Ooh, with this yeah. person. Like I used to work with this dude. This is he wild. Would, he would tell me, he's like, "Yeah, I bought a, a whole sheet of acid off the internet." I was like, "How the fuck did you do that?" He's How like, the fuck? He's like, "Well, I paid I do in remember Bitcoin." This. I remember this arrow during the dark web, yeah. quote unquote. Yeah, he uh, he paid in Bitcoin, and they shipped it to him in a DVD case, and like the little sleeve inside the DVD case was the acid. Dude, you are a brave like human. That. Yeah, dude, to trust that shit. Fuck that. No thanks. So okay, so this guy just built the platform and yeah, let other sure. people be yeah. dealers and sellers or buyers. And, yeah, which huh. dude? I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. It's, it's kind of like it kind of reminds me of a. Uh, that'd be like, all right, you going after Mark Zuckerberg for somebody said on Facebook or post a video of them killing somebody on Facebook or something? It's Mark Zuckerberg's fault, you know? Yeah. Right. I mean, same. Uh, do you guys remember? Uh, is anyone up dot com? I remember Rotten dot com. Uh-huh. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is anyone up dot com? Th- this guy got uh, oh, Hunter shit. Moore. That sounds familiar. Um, it was back in like, it was around when I was like touring full time with uh, Settle the Sky. It was like two thousand eight, two thousand nine era. It would just he built this platform for. It mainly was for like people to get back at their exes oh. and post like don't oh, fuck revenge with, shit. don't fuck with this dude here's a nude of him oh, it's called, oh. Yeah, yeah it's called oh, a revenge that. porn website is what yeah but then all these fucking major like artists and shit were like like uh other people they would send their nudes to some girl or some guy that they were talking to and something would happen they would get pissed off upload a fucking nude i've seen so many band members on that thing what the fuck right and i'm like were you on it dan no luckily i was not (laughs) i mean i hope i'm i hope i wasn't but my buddy brian um that i toured with he's actually in the documentary on netflix no shit yeah more called himself a professional life ruiner yeah (laughs) and and compared himself to charles manson what in the hell yeah dude the dude was fucked up he was messed up but uh it's it's just like that. He got in fucking trouble for it. Like he built this platform, and so many people. I mean, he got death threats. He got. He, I think someone stabbed him. Wow. Um, yeah. I mean, it was like dude, like stabbed his body. Yeah. Like, dude, that's a horrible way to get fucking killed. The, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Say I was like, say my band was way bigger than it, we were, and I'm I'm texting this girl. You know, little sex sex action. <laughs> fucking send her a nude i piss her off she's uploading that yeah. shit to is anyone up I, there's nothing i could do about yeah. it. yeah literally nothing i could do about it dude he only got two i say only got but like he only got two years and six months in prison and a two thousand dollar fine wow and because, fucking yeah. ross over got like two consecutive life sentences so where he was said like quote unquote protected is more stated several times he was protected by the same laws that protect facebook yeah <sighs> Wow, so Marky Mark out here doing uh not not the OG Marky Mark yeah the, the other funky Mark. bunch yeah yeah this Mark <laughs> is out here protecting criminals. 
Dude, oh, dude, don't even get me started on social media owners. Yeah, they're they're off. Yeah, that's a whole other. That's a whole hole. nother rabbit hole, dude. Yeah. I think that you know is part of the propaganda machine. Let me ask you. Let me ask you something uh, that I've been wanting to ask you all day, but I saved it for me? today. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think about this whole flat Earth conspiracy? I think it's retarded. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've been in an airplane. I, I, th- I think I've it been, is too. It I, seems like the world's pretty round. But then right. again, I've never been in space. So what the fuck do I know? Dude, so if the but, if the Earth is flat, look at all these telescopes we have that can look up. If you go really high up with a telescope that can go that can look miles and miles away, wouldn't you just be able to look into it and see like giant? Yeah. If it was flat, you exactly. Know, like, yeah. 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 It's that that whole shit. I follow some like some pages on Facebook and shit, like flat earth yeah. groups or whatever. Just so I can laugh. <laughs> so, there are some out there, though. Some people take that shit seriously. Yeah, there are dude. some that can no, be I know. really convincing, though, that I'm like, that they'll get me questioning, like, shit, is it? <laughs> um, I'm like, no, just what was kill What us. was the other one? Uh, the firmament? or Is that right? Is that, am I saying yeah. that right? Like, there's like a fucking like, shield around the earth. Yeah. That we can't, we've never been to space. We can't go to space. It's, it's called the atmosphere. I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> atmosphere. No, no, no. I mean, like, like yeah. they, th- they think that like the sun is a massive fucking light that someone just switches on. Turn on and off. Yeah. Dude. It's, it's fucking. Could you imagine that electric bill? Yeah. Wild. Right. Fuck. But what, but, but think about that. Sit there and think about that. Uh, like, have you ever seen the Truman show? Yeah, I've with seen Jim that a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Where he's the only one that doesn't know there's a show going on. There's a show going on, and he just lives day to day, like yeah. up until he's an adult. Yeah, like, bro, what if that's happening to you, Dan? You know how many times I've thought about that? Just, just don't tell fucking him, don't. in bed, just smoke and be like, don't tell. Him. Damn, I wonder if there's fucking cameras. I wonder if I'm the star of the show, dude. What if I told you there's three cameras on you right now? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I better put my my meat away. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna put uh, is anyone up dot com? I know, right? Dude, is that still on? Like, do people no, still do I that? I think it got good, shut down. Good. I didn't want you to be out of like that. No, but I mean, there's pff, fucking who needs that? There's Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> well, not for long. Well, I mean, Reddit will still be there. What would they do? They did something to Reddit. They made it like public or something. Oh, it's a publicly traded <laughs> company. That means it's the end. It's not going to be as fun. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, as soon as something goes public, it's not as fun. Dude, it sucks. Well, we gotta dude, protect the interest of the shareholders. Dude, I <laughs> we can't have you having fun on here and doing cool shit. I'm a research guy, and I'll look up anything like before I purchase anything, anything and everything. And I will literally Google search like the best light bulbs to purchase for your home, Reddit, and then go to Reddit and actually read actual fucking <laughs> yeah, humans. Some real reviews. That's not right. these paid ads and paid reviews. Five stars. Yeah, or yeah. Paid. Twisted and great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have gotten so much. Like better realistic information off Reddit than I've ever gotten yeah. on Google. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, people can vent anonymously on there. Yeah, yeah. But watch if it's going to be publicly traded. Watch it's going to fucking be throttled so much. Like it, it is already, but yeah. like it's going to be even more. Like you can't say that, right? Our shareholders. Dude, I, I feel money. like I feel like there when it comes to conspiracies, like I feel like there's so many different avenues you could go about oh, like dude, go about it you know what i mean yeah, like, oh, go yeah. about learning about it or trying to find out the truth you're never going to find out the no, truth yeah. like no. with ufos and stuff clearly they're fucking real yeah oh yeah well they came out and said that they were or maybe yeah. they maybe they aren't and they're like hey, let's just tell them it's real we don't yeah. know we never will we'll know. lead these little bastards on yeah, what yeah. do you what do you think about area 51 it's real dude. well i mean no i know it's a real place oh do i mean like weird shit goes on there? yeah Dude, do you are you've heard of Hangar 18, right? Uh, yes. Uh, Dude, you know that's in uh, Dayton, is, right? Isn't that a song? Isn't that, in the yeah? Iron maybe I'm yeah. I, no, Megadeth. Megadeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's fucking it's, awesome. It, it rips, dude. But uh, Hangar 18. Didn't they make a? Ah, uh, fuck. What? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. Go on. Oh, anyway, it's in Ohio, dude. It's down by Dayton, right? Patterson Air Force. Then Base. I'm thinking of the wrong one. Hangar 18. That's where they stored like the fucking UFOs or whatever. Dude, anytime I think of Area 51. Yeah, man. Well, maybe it is the right one. I just didn't know it was in Dayton, Ohio. I didn't know that it was in Ohio either. Yeah. yeah. Or they just store all the fucking... Dude, that's insane. Yep, right Patterson Air Force Base. Hangar 18 is right on there. We, we probably drove past it so many times. So let's let's say let's say there was aliens uh, at the Miami Mall, okay? <sighs> How am I going to word this? Um, 
how do you how do you think they got here? I think they've been here, probably. See, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. Like, Dude, or, you, or they have, or have they been here? Yeah, like you remember War of the Worlds. Yeah. yeah. And they've just been dude, here. Yeah, dude. dude they they just, they're just, just here already. They probably just make appearances to fuck with us. Because mm. they're like, dude, I'm bored. What do you like? You know, when we're kids, we're doing dumb shit. Like, yeah. hey, let's go knock on this dude's door and run. They're like, hey, let's go to this mall and show ourselves and then run and hide. <laughs> yeah, let's get all the cops <laughs> let's to come. Get the here. whole world freaking out. Those idiots. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just think I'm I'm sorry to bring it up again, but it, this this whole that whole situation. It's it's wild that no one is talking about it. I don't see it anymore. I don't yeah. fucking hear about it anymore. It's and the crazy thing about the news cycle though, like dude, two seconds the story's gone, forgot. Yeah. It. There's crazy shit that happens like last week. Yeah. Let's be real. That's, we all forgot about it already. That's one of the main reasons the government really wants TikTok banned. Let's be yeah. honest. Because you can find current events out. You can find Someone in there, Alaska, something could happen, and we could find out in Ohio within minutes if they post a video and do it right. So yeah, see, they well, don't like that. They're like, no, 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 they're too connected. The Let's TikTok see. ban stuff, it's real touchy. Like, you can't really talk about the real reason why it's getting banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because if we go to make content from this, we're gone. Like, it's, yeah, it's gonna yeah. Well, no, I the, the real reason is. Well, I can probably tell you guys off camera, but you can be like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, there's money involved and all that. Yeah, and certain interests. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff. There. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah. there. And that's... I ain't even talking about the Chai Coms either, so. Yeah. Um, it, it's, just, it's just fucking crazy. It I is. don't know. I, I have no words because, like, I look at those videos a lot, and there was one video that was taken the same night, and it has gotten taken down everywhere i cannot find it anymore really there was a there was a literally like a fucking it was super low to the ground like right in the clouds a fucking ship like with weird ass lights and it just kept it moved real slowly and these the the people that were filming were freaking the fuck out got taken down dude everywhere the next day I wonder yeah. if they're like holding. See, like, you get the most flack when you're over the target. Yeah, dude, it, it's like might what be if, real. What if the aliens are like at war with our government, and they're like, we're gonna start teasing your people if you don't start Whoa. meeting our requirements or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, why else would they do that stuff to the to the like to the public? Because I heard this crazy theory that was mind blowing, and I could be wrong on like which medicine it was, but it was like back in I think the '60s or '50s where. Um, like the dads and men went to war and then they come back and when they come back from war, it's like, we've got microwaves and we've got these televisions, yeah. we've got all this stuff that's like with <clears throat> batteries involved. And it's like, there was this theory that I read on Reddit, ironically, and, uh, these guys, well, how we invented the cure for, um, polio, we invented the cure for polio and then some other extraterrestrial beings found out that we had this cure and they were like hey we need this cure came oh, down shit. to us and said hey if you give us this cure we'll give you these we'll give you the blueprints on batteries and acid and where you can go to get the stuff to make this stuff and then bam we get these microwaves we get cell phones we get televisions we get radios yeah, like in a, there's in a, a huge jump in technology yeah, and it was yeah, huge last century. and it was like again i don't know how true that is but the theory itself it i was like that's so convincing because i mean the article was so in-depth I was like convinced. I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. So then fast forward to what you were saying, Dan. What if the these other beings are like, we're going to start fucking with everyday people until you can meet our demands on what we want or whatever it is. Who knows? You know what I mean? Dude, it's, think it's about this. So in a span of like what? Thousands, tens of thousands of years, we went from like living in caves to building houses out of wood and riding horses. Like that's, that's as far as we went. Yeah. And then, hundred and what thirty years ago now, we went from riding horses to fucking having podcasts on these little square or rectangle fucking things. Yeah, it's like and dude, having, that's a big having, fucking jump. And having electric cars. Yeah, it's like, a big. There's jump. something helping. The, oh, obviously, dude, yeah. It's a big jump, but then it's like, it became like a. It's like a plateau as well. Yeah. It's like so. Then now what? Well, they say the. The government's got their technology is thirty years ahead of what's yeah, on the marketplace I, I right now. That. I, I believe that. I believe that for sure. Yeah, I believe that. I buy it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's almost because you can't. I mean, you have to realistically with our capability of our our brains, like you you can't just say, "Oh, here it is." 
you have to gradually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. You know what that. I'm saying? You have to in, gradually grow. A little grow. bit here, a little, a little bit here. Bit here. And to not oh be, shit, a cyber truck? Why there's like no difference <laughs> yeah. in each iPhone? It's like, yeah. oh, we added one little tiny thing. You know, they got fucking iPhone 46 sitting in the back burner. <sighs> fucking. You know what's wild? You can we're X-ray probably, people with it and fucking read their minds. Like we're gonna see that. Yeah, yeah. probably we're did gonna be you old. Guys see that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you see that box? It's super crazy. It's like a teleporter, but you you don't teleport. It 3D scans you, and you could like go have a TED talk. You could go in oh, this like a hologram. Box. Yeah, you go in this box, and it's a hologram of yourself live though. So like the crowd would see you and oh, think it's yeah. you, but you could be in your office. Dude. In there having the speech giving wow. it. I feel that's going to yeah. change concerts. Yeah. People it's are going to be touring. It's oh, well, cool. dude, they did that with uh, Tupac. Well, and dude, they did it with Dio. Well, dude, yeah, I remember, James Dio. I know you guys aren't huge into sports, but during COVID, the NBA did the seats where you could purchase the digital seats and put like Oculus on. Oh, my oh, God, yeah. I fucking was seen that. sick, dude. I was like, that oh, my God, rad. be in the comfort of my own home and watch this basketball game and look out, like turn around and look at the fans behind me. Like, yeah. That's crazy. That is pretty cool. What? I mean, just think about how fucking crazy that is, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, we went from is, riding horses to that. To like, we are in a a fucking world now where technology runs everything. Yep. And I was talking about where you know in the information age, dude. I feel like there's so much fucking information. It's hard for us to handle. You know what I mean? Like we know so much shit. Yeah. Right. And we have access to literally every bit of knowledge. It took thousands and thousands of years to procure. Uh, procure. And yeah. like we just. It's at our fingertips, dude. Like, how do you handle something like that? Like, our brains aren't that, you know. Like, it's insane. You handle it? yeah. It's insane. It is. It is cool though, because I mean, um, like I was talking to this guy a while back, where it was like our life's, like our life generation, whatever this is, not just us, but like this century of us, we have devoted like the the brain power and drive towards like, um devices and electronics and stuff like that and people are always like how are the pyramids built how are the pyramids built and all this but it's like what if that century of people they were only focused and driven on the like mechanics of how to move these yeah. advanced tools yeah, and like so all that was, stuff. yeah whereas we devoted to computers and cameras yep. and technology they were more Make of things on smaller like, yeah i yeah. mean i mean it goes back to the fucking uh pyramid days bro we didn't build that shit it was built for us. I mean, didn't this someone say it was a power plant or something? I like mean, that? dude, we didn't have the technology, or they didn't have the technology back then that, that like, we know of. Yeah, dude, I'm telling that's you, why it's such a big question. I mean, I mean, historians have proved it. Like, there is no possible way that the precise cuts of these fucking tons and tons of fucking you know, yeah, limestone or whatever. Yeah, the fuck like whatever it is. the fuck it was. Like, literally, it weighed tons. How the fuck are they going to get it from point A to point B? How are they going to lift it onto something to get yeah. it point A to point B? And exactly. That's, that's what I mean by Do you like, understand what I'm saying? Yeah, Especially yeah. to get all the way up to the fucking top. But yeah, then, like he was saying, so the yeah, focus of exact. that society. So go, to, go back in time. How do we time? move big stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's like we go back in time and show them a cell phone, and they're thinking exactly how we're thinking about the pyramids. They're thinking the same to the phone. How yeah. in the world is this thing a thing? They can't wrap their head around how, how this what became What all made. the avenues to get yeah. to that? Have you, but then we of, can't wrap our main mind around how they built the pyramid. Right. Yeah. Have you have you seen that those like old-ass pictures? Um, like just on conspiracy videos and shit, like old-ass pictures of like where phones weren't even invented. Oh, oh yeah. someone yeah. has one. Yeah. It's like, how do you have a photo? Do you believe in time travel? Dude, I think, it, you know, it might be possible. I want to believe in it. Yeah, I want to believe in I it, I want too. to, because it's such a cool concept, but sometimes some of these thoughts, man, I don't, my brain gets lost thinking about it, because it's like, what? I think about this shit. 20, wormholes and shit. Like, like just, Interstellar, bro? Oh, oh my man. god! They're re-releasing that in theaters. Dude, I, I will be. They are. That. It's one yeah. of my favorite. I've never movies. watched it. I've always You've never to watch seen it. it. Oh my god! Should I god. see it in the theater? You should. Let's go. I, yeah, right. dude. That, Let's all go. One, the soundtrack. Like me being a big like piano fan. Like Hans Zimmer wrote an amazing soundtrack. The Great cinematography. Soundtrack. The well, the one scene in the movie. I'm not spoiling, but the one scene it took like a hundred hours to render a like like fifteen second scene. Jeez. It was like forever, just for one one scene, one little quick scene, hundred hours of wow. rendering. That movie, 
I promise you, once you turn it off, you will be like, what? It will make you feel things that you never realized you could feel and think. Oh, dude. And, I remember it's, like, directed, so it's directed by my favorite director, Christopher Nolan. So, like, Oh, he's the, the oh, Batman guy? He did uh, yeah. Oppenheimer, too. Oppenheimer. Oh, yeah. The Prestige, if you've never seen that, it's also another phenomenal. No. Oh, great movie. Oh, dude. Any Christopher Nolan film. Any one dude. of them. The only one that's real confusing, I think, is um, the te- is Tenet. Tenet, you're like, you got to watch it. I tried like, to watch that, dude, and I turned it off because I was watch like, it. I can't fucking. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, you gotta what watch the fuck it, like, is going five on? Five times. Five times in a row, and you might be able to pick up what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs> dude, one thing that's on my mind, before I forget, I got I to gotta tell you guys. All right, so this is a call to action for our viewers. So... We're all familiar with lost media, right? Lost media? You know, lost, lost media. media is like, dude, I swear that was a fucking commercial back in the day. Nobody can find it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They call that the, oh. um. what do they call that? That's Yeah, the Man- it's not the Mandela yeah, effect. Yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. But yeah, I know what you're talking okay, about. Okay. All right. So this ties in with conspiracies. All right. I'm going to take you back to 2008. Yeah, 2008 year. or early 2009. It's a good year. So I had... Time Warner cable, right? The premium cable where you got the on-demand shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And there's a music video section, and Metallica had came out with a new album in 2008 called Death Magnetic, right? There's a song called All Nightmare Long, right? And they had a music video for it. It It's like this long animated music video, like fucking crazy about like chemicals making zombies and shit like that. It's really good. Dude, it's awesome music video. Yeah. But I remember at the very end, there's like an audio recording of a woman speaking about chemtrails. And like, oh, blah, 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 parts per million, something like this. And I was like, man, that's crazy. You know, Metallica just shouted out chemtrails or whatever. I go back to watch the video again. I was like, oh, where's that part? It's gone. They they got rid of it. So I don't know if anybody like, recorded onto vhs or dvr somewhere they have that fucking part of the music video it's at the very end because it's like a nine minute music video yeah yeah, at the very end dude and it blows my mind i was like hey do you remember that at the end right you know people you know watched the video before and they're like no i was like dude it was there there's a reddit thread that i'm looking at right now people are saying i have a vivid memory of this lady talking at the end of this yep. music video yeah and it's no longer there what happened to that video and then people are like i think you're thinking of a different video no no dude it's there's the a lot of people saying video. she's crazy dude, that's this fucking weird crazy. no you're not crazy what, what's the username um b-s-i-e-k-i-e-e-e-e-5-5-7-9-9-2-2-3 <laughs> you are not crazy <laughs> I heard it too. And we need, all right, whoever watches this who's good with that kind of shit, find it. Find it and send it to us if you care. I mean. Metallica, if you know what's going on you feel like telling us, you can. I'll. You have my confidence. I won't tell anyone you told me. I'll just be like, a confidential informant told me. Well, now they're going to know if you say that <laughs> it was them. I have confirmation. Anybody in the Metallica camp. I'm not going to say his name. You want to blow the whistle. But I think his name is Stu. Stu. <laughs> yeah, Stu, if you're out there in the Metallica camp, roadies, anything, if you got access to the archives for Metallica's All Nightmare of Long video from 2008, at the very end talking about chemtrails, I know they fucking did it because it was on Time Warner Cable On Demand Video, Music Choice. It's on there. And dude, it's good. If, 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 if someone finds that for me, I will shit my pants live on the show. <laughs> uh, uh, n- no, 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 no. Don't do That's that. how confident I am that they won't be able to find it because, it's like, dude, it's so obscure. But I'm glad watch, that that Reddit posts. Watch Metallica be like, just send it to you. Yeah, just DM me. James real quick. is like, I got you, bro. That'd be dude, dope. That would be fire. I, honestly, Come on the show. I'd be, I, I'd be done. I'd be like, while oh we're my transferring God. videos, I'm going to put the music video on. And right. you guys got to watch right, this. Right. It's fucking awesome. Um, real quick before we wrap it up, um, what's your take on the Illuminati? Um, I think I think it might be overcomplicated the way people say that, like the secret society shit. Definitely, they're secret societies. You know? Yeah, of course. But uh, I don't know much about. Th- I remember there used to be like TV specials about the Illuminati on like History Channel. And that right there, I was like, either they're trying to divert, you know, away well, from certain information or it's just uh, bullshit and they're trying to, you know. Speaking of, um, like, lost media. Yeah. 
there was a video that I cannot find for the life of me. And I used to watch it because I was so in, like infatuated with what was really going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Behind closed doors. But there was a fucking video of Bohemian Grove. Yeah, Alex Jones did it. He's the one who did it? Yeah, he broke in. Him and another guy, they they snuck in. Everybody just thought they were there. They, they That was before ever, anybody knew who the fuck he was. Oh. But yeah, that was him, dude. He took the video of them worshiping the owl and doing yeah, like the yeah, that's the mock one. child sacrifice and shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah, it's fucked. What? It's fucked. And now, like, our Kid Rock was on, like, Theo Vaughn's podcast, and he was talking about it. And or if Theo Vaughn asked him about it, and he kind of tried to downplay it, like, "Oh man, it ain't that crazy," and stuff like, that. "Dude, what if it was? They got that you by crazy, the balls, though. don't they, kid? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they fucking do, man. Well, you got to figure, dude. You got to shut your damn mouth. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you're like oh, that shit. big, you got to have some worry about things that you know you shouldn't be like talking about. Like you could tell, like Jim Carrey going on the fucking the that uh, I think it was uh, Jimmy Kimmel going like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a whole thing, yeah. yeah. You know, like... Dog whistle. And then he's like, oh, don't act like you don't know what it is, Jimmy. Yeah. You're one of them, too. Or some <laughs> shit. I'm like, is he really doing this? <laughs> Either he's... That's a really good joke, or yeah. Yeah, I mean, Jim Carrey, at the end of the day, is an actor. He could yeah. just be acting just for the hell of it. Yep. yep. It's, at the end of the day, acting is business, and business brings money, and if you can act well and bring more money, yep. you, could, mm -hmm. you never... Who knows? Do we all? Yeah. We'll we never know. know about anything that we've talked about. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, we, yep. In closing, we ain't going to know shit about nothing, guys. Yep. But keep pressing. And remember, you're over the target when you get the most flack. Stay the course. Stay the course. <laughs> keep fighting. Yep. Question fucking everything. Yep. And with that, it's been a... Uh, been real this has been one of my favorite ones to do because yeah. like i you can tell i got passionate in this dude one. i know i'm but i let you do your thing today <laughs> i got to do mine last week about yeah. weed <laughs> so i got to do my thing i oh. definitely want to mention too if you guys have any really crazy like conspiracy theories that you're passionate about or care about or stuff that we you know you know more about stuff that we mentioned send us message comment anything like that we We'll definitely, you know, shout that out, dive into it, whichever, because the conspiracy theories are endless. Endless. Yeah. So, well, uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. It's been the jam. With Brock and Dan. I'm Brock. I'm Dan. And thank you for watching. One more thing. Uh, <laughs> don't Google dancing Israelis. Oh, my. <laughs> Bye.